Hi there, my name is Trunab, I'm the only me there is, and welcome back to Infliction, but first, what's this? Sun? An actual sunny day? I can't believe it. Uh, and what a better way to play a completely dark game, glaring on my screen, than with sunlight. Taking advantage of a nice day to actually get some recording done. More than that, a nice day to actually use natural lighting. So yeah. Good luck with me, and good luck, son. But, enough of that. Today we have to find the... What was it? That's not the right button. Clothing worn in the eyes of God. Like a wedding dress? I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that. Today we find out... If Sarah's gonna, you know, scare us some more. But first we're also gonna find out why don't I have a reflection. But also we're gonna find out who's the real killer. I mean, last time it was pretty much established that yes, Sarah was the one who killed our baby daughter, I think. No, sorry. The, was the one who killed Michael. But then there's the fact that I killed her. So probably to get back, uh, to get Michael back? Who knows? <clears throat> For now, we gotta head into this dark ass house and see if we can't find a lovely, lovely wife with our lovely, lovely camera. If I were a wedding dress, I'd be in the closet. I can hardly hear or see anything, but that's gotta be a good thing. Now, truthful, truth be told, we don't have a wedding dress in here, or even a closet. And that out there sort of looks like a... a uh, what's it called? A scarecrow. The shadow of a scarecrow. Yep, no wedding dresses in here. If I were a wedding dress, where would I be? But you're new. January 11th, 1986. Cool. We just got back from the hospital with the latest addition to our family. Little Michael, and he's perfect. Feeling a little strange though, almost depressed. Postpartum depression. I feel so guilty for feeling this way when it should be a time for celebration. Gary's been great, but he doesn't understand how I'm feeling. I tried to talk to him about it, but he just doesn't get it and tells me to be happy. He's right, but it's not that simple. Isn't it normal that I'm having postnatal depression with my second child when I didn't have it with my first? That's a good question. I'm depressed and happy at the same time. My god, this is confusing. <laughs> I hope it passes. I know Gary will support me through this. I'm sure it's all going to be fine. The nurse suggested that I keep a journal to help work through my thoughts. So, here we go. Hmm. Oh, that's it? Okay. Something... Cool. Something tells me... Your thoughts betrayed you, my darling Sarah. Because... Well, I mean, I don't know. It just seems to me like... You killing. Listen to the trees. Got it. What trees, though? Should we go in here again? I never know where to go anymore. You're frozen shut. Maybe it's this way. I don't think I have to go down there, actually. Hey, it's the pot with the weird ass face. Which is not really a face, but, you know. Feels better when it, it can't do that there, so that's cool. Wait, listen to the trees. Is this real? Kick-ass mask, too. I don't know, is it? Oh, good lord. What's up? Oh, no. When the music starts getting that way, you know shit's gonna happen. What is that? Shadow. Pardon music. Listen to the trees. Oh. Okay, she rushed at me. Oh, what was that? Didn't even get time to take out the camera. Well, I guess that was the right path. Hopefully, maybe. And she just killed me. Didn't give me a chance to move. Find clothes warning in the eye. We're going to be the warning in the eyes of God. 
Yeah, sure. Let's take out the camera. Because you never know when I find this lady again. I go this way. I, I thought that was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah, blinking lights. They tell a story. Why are you... Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't want to listen to the trees. Never mind. Can't even run. Forget that this is that kind of game. Oh, the, tree, the trees are wrong. The trees are trying to kill me. I, I, I don't want the trees. Let me out, please. Wait, did we get uh, married in a, in a forest cabin? 23rd March, 1985. He really surprised me this weekend. He blindfolded me and whisked me off in the car. When he took the blindfold off, I saw this horrible little rundown cabin in the woods. He'd purchased this place from an estate sale of a deceased hunter or something. He wants to fix it up so we'll have our own little romantic getaway. Maggie's staying with the neighbors for the weekend, so I guess I'll make the most of it. You probably heard that notification from Windows, too. Okay, so... Freaking cabin in the woods, I mean... Haven't you ever seen horror movies, dude? Why? Just why? What's this? Um, right. What's this? 24th March, 1985. He's like a changed man out here. At first I wasn't sure this place is creepy, but last night was simply amazing. Maybe this was a great idea. It just needs a woman's touch. Clearly. Oh, clearly. What was that? Wait, that note wasn't always there, was it? I actually think that's a photo. Yeah, clearly a, a woman's touch is all that's needed here, sure. I'd like to take a picture. Oh, cameroid. Oh, cool. I'll take that with me because I need you to stop. If I were a cameroid. Hmm. Where would I point my camera at? Can we do something? No. The trees are clearly not listening to me. Can we do something over here, maybe? Well, tell me I have to go back outside, because I'm not going to go. Hey, that worked a lot well. Very well? I don't even know how to speak anymore. Well, you did tell me to do this, so I'm going to go speak to the trees now. Yo! Tree man! Talk to me. What's up? Where's my wife? I don't see anything in this picture. I really don't. Maybe she wants an axe to cut down the trees, yeah? Uh, that would work. Nope, but I get a kick-ass picture of an axe. Okay. Maybe, um... Hmm. Maybe the bed. That's where you'd leave a wedding dress, right? Draw, maybe? Not even close. Oh, the clock, of course. Silly me, what am I thinking? Look at it. It's so ominous, so obvious there's, there's something there. Or not. How about the uh, stove? Living here? Shaky, shaky. Nope. Oh, hello. Is, but it's terrifying me. Oh boy. Oh, I have to do it in the picture. Did That's you hear me. that? No. That's a drop. I don't you care. Hurry. She's here. Oh, good lord. You're talking to me. She's here. Uh uh. I don't want that. 25th March, 1985. Oh, Jesus Christ, it was terrible. I don't ever want to come back. Last night, there were all kinds of strange noises. I could hear whispering. 
I think maybe some of the locals don't want us here. What do you think? I heard something in the basement and had to investigate. Oh my god. It's the slaughterhouse down there with some really weird shit going on. I appreciate taxidermy as an art form, but this looked like more than that. Between the cabins and the history and the strange noises, it would be a cold day in hell before I'll set foot in here again. This is how those horror movies start. Finally, someone who knows. Lady, I like you already. I mean, you're, you are trying to kill me, but you, um, can I, uh, oh. 1-14-1979. I'm not quite myself. Everything is foggy. Even as I type this, it's coming from deep within a trance-like state, yet I'm also aware. I feel almost trapped in my own body. I cannot figure out if it's the power of these rituals or not, but I'm truly losing myself. It also begs the question, am I losing my mind? I look around the basement of this cabin, and there's nobody here. I can hear whispering, though. Is it here, or is it all me? I can't make the voices out. They sound deep, yet otherworldly. I cannot stay this way. I must forge forward and hope there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Cornelius Cumberdale. Dude, you have the best name in the world. Like, I, I know people probably don't take the name Cornelius very seriously, but you, you combine Cornelius with Cumberdale, which kind of reminds me of Cumberbatch, and you have one kick-ass name, honestly. Love it. Hey, look, another note. 319, 1979. I think we're going backwards. There's only one ritual left, and finally I was able to make out one of the voices. They said the cost would be your firstborn son. Oh. I'm sitting in this basement, alone, hearing voices and performing rituals from a book. None of this sounds normal, yet I am compelled to continue. I've lost both my mind and my own self. I'm surprised you can even write, sir. Now that I'm hearing ramblings about my unborn child, I can see only one solution. Cancer is cut out, and so must my poisoned mind be banished from this world. Shit. If you happen to read this letter, do not read from the book. Read now. Cornelius Cumberdale, Cornelius Cumberdale, Cornelius Cumberdead. Cumberdead, sorry. Cornelius Cumberdevil. Ah, wonderful. Let's see now. That was really quite enlightening. Oh, that's not good. Well, let's do it. The worst that could happen is she's right behind me. Hey, 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 now. Let me flash you. Lady, I got the camera up against your face. Oh, that's just terrifying. Like, really, what the fuck is up with your face? You are terrifying me. How do I get out? What the fuck was that? Laughter? See, I don't know where to go. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know where to go. She's following me. She's probably gonna be after me right now. I'm gonna die scared over here. And if you're wondering why die scared, well, simple. Oh, hello. A well. That's never a good idea, but let's go. Well, why not? <laughs> um, we good. Guess we're not good. Okay, buddy. Wanna, wanna maybe wake up? You gotta find that wedding dress, dude. Like, for real. Is this the same house? I think it is, but I, uh... I, uh, don't remember that being that way like that. Oh, okay, this is, uh... What the fuck? Yeah, this is the upstairs. Let's let's head toward the blinking light then. The attic. I completely forgot this was here. I'm glad you can climb stairs like a pro, my friend. What are we looking for again? The wedding dress. Why would the wedding dress be in the attic? Because they don't have a closet. Looks like that's it over there. Oh, hello. You know what, never mind. I, 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 uh, I didn't want to say hello. There's matches... There's matches and a candle. That's never a good idea. Oh, great. A wedding veil. Just what I wanted. Bad the, luck to see the bride before the wedding. Get out of here, you. The, the incomplete <sighs> brick dress. Come here, you. 
Now go. We're going to be late to the altar. So sweet. You know, if, it, if what's happening didn't happen, I think it's really sweet. Okay, I can't actually... Oh, wait, I can. Whoa. Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh, no. Take out the camera, you idiot. Oh, uh, boy. Here she comes. Okay. Oh, no. It's kind of hard to see, actually, but... You can tell she's not going to sit over. Over. Fighting back. You're not defenseless against the ghost. Darkness has one true enemy. Light or the flash of a camera. <laughs> oh. Because obviously there's uh, the flash light does not work. You know, flash light. No. Take away the light. You just need the flash. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I think that's it for the objectives, right? I think there was one more. Yes, there was one more. Slaughterhouse down there was some really weird shit going on. Just needs a woman's touch. Cold day. Changed the man out here. Woman's touch. I'm sure that's exactly what we needed. Voices in my head. Shit happened. We still don't know exactly who the killer is, but this adds a little more to the layers. This guy was already going crazy even before his son was, um... Find an object of ancestral sentimentality. Oh, right! My... My, uh... Sacrificial burial knife. Yeah, that, that thing. The, uh... The dagger. I'm just joking. This isn't Hitman, but... What do they even mean by that? I don't know. You need to find something that belonged to your wife's family. Maybe some jewelry. Well, I mean, there's all these paintings of grandma around, so I guess that's good. But okay. Uh, having done this objective, I think it's a good place to stop. Yeah. I know, I could probably keep going, but... Where's it? What'd be the fun in that, right? Just finishing two objectives in one episode? Finishing the game? Nah, let's... Let's drag this out one more week. Like a good horror series, anthology thing. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. But okay. Yeah. Well, we're no closer to finding out who did what, what did who. But we're definitely sure of one thing. Both Gary and Sarah were a little cuckoo in the head. Sarah a little less so. I mean, maybe the postpartum depression and all that got her, but... Gary was already starting to... Well, not Gary. Mr. Coomber Devil. They were all a little crazy from the start, even before the sun thing. However, the fact that the ritual required of the firstborn son's life paints a clearer picture. Gary, I think you're the bad guy here. But, and you killed Sarah, so she's haunting you, and you're not really alive, so... Eh, something's going on, but whatever. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't wrestle with that like button down below. Comment and subscribe, and remember that bell. I keep forgetting to remind you that bell, but remember that bell. But as always, I'm the only me, so you be the only you. See you next time.